experience. But with experience comes fear. Fear that someday he'll outlast his usefulness. I keep my stopwatch as a reminder that there comes a time in every man's life when he hasn't as many golden minutes ahead of him as he does behind him. Too many strollers. They found another homeless guy a couple blocks from your place on the edge of Shore Park. You want change? I'm wearing everything I need. Are you coming? Lead the way, coach. Bucks just this morning. Name Andrew Chance, occupation stockbroker. Stockbroker. Apparently, he's been out of work since 2009. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Put it back. Do you know how much my retirement account's worth right now? Let's get another broker. Get another broker like I need that. Whoa! What do we have here? A mistake in somebody stole Andy's pituitary gland. What? Small pea-shaped thing sits at the base of the brain, secretes growth hormone. Certain ancient cultures believe that by consuming the pituitary of a fallen enemy, you could prolong that which the gods would let Peter away and die. Who the hell would want his... Boy, you think because he's homeless, no one would want his pituitary? Do right? not get morally superior with me, Frank. You were just about to take five dollars off a corpse. That I gave him. Listen, what I meant was who would want anybody's... Pituitary. Any connection with the other homeless men? They're all stockbrokers. Mm. They all had a gaping wound in the back of their head. <laughs> and the same message was found in all the crime scenes. <laughs> Theories, Craig? Some sicko who hates homeless people. Or wants us to think he hates homeless people. Some sicko who hates stockbrokers. Let's go easy on the sicko talk. Or some real wacko who needs the... Not needs, Craig. Has a use for. How did the killer know these men were stockbrokers? I saw Andy almost every day and I didn't know. Although, I did think it was strange how he kept ranting on and on about the Dodd-Frank Act. You were saying... Bottles. Huh? No bottles. You see any liquor bottles? Or signs of drug use? Look at this. A homeless health nut. That's first. If I ate this healthy, I'd be homeless and broke too. Somebody's been giving him all this stuff. In return for what? Sex? If I was an ordinary cop, I'd ask you to run me down the line of all the endocrinologists who've been kicked out of the medical profession within the last 10 years. But you're no ordinary cop, Frank. You provide me with a list of the last known addresses of all these disgraced doctors. Well, you know something quicker. Meet me at Goldenrod's Honey Haven. Sounds like a whorehouse. On 3rd Avenue, and bring your special badge. What's the name? 
Not Silver Sally, may I help you? Uh, yeah. Uh, listen, uh, you ever tried putting a marshmallow into a coin slot? Or, uh, squeezing a ripe banana into a whiskey bottle? How about shoving a loaf of bread into a suggestion box? I have just a thing for you. Take two capsules with a Vietnamese hooker and call me in the morning. Well, yeah, <clears throat> you know my doctor. Uh, doctor, uh, doctor's only as good as his medicine, and am I am I right? And if his medicine is synthetic junk designed to make profits for drug companies, I mean, what the hell good is he, huh? How old are you? Forty. <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cute. No, no, that really is. That's precious. <laughs> Guess how old I am. Seven. All right. Are we here to buy something today? Or are you just window shopping? Oh, you see, money's no object. I want the Whoa, best you got. Well, why didn't you say so? What do you do, if I may ask? I'm a stockbroker. Uh, may I be frank? You know, from the moment you walked in, I said to myself, this man is a thoroughbred. Somebody who lives by the beat of his own drums. <laughs> Some of my best customers are stockbrokers. <laughs> they know how to treat their clients, and so do I. Just one of these will give you the youth and vitality of three. Hold it right there. I'll take that. My badge. I'm authorized to tear this carrot stand down brick by brick, if necessary. Inspector, can't we settle this little matter outside of court? What'd you have in mind, Light Bright? Well, you, me, a porterhouse, a little shibbly. I prefer white meat, aren't you? Your stopwatch is ticking. Whoa! What do we have here? I have a case of uterol here, which I believe has your name written all over it. Street value six bills. <laughs> you stop at the butcher shop? Are these some fresh pituitary glands? Before I was running for sport, but now I'm running a race for those who can't run for themselves.
There are some things you just can't run from. No matter how slowly they creep up on you. The race is not won by the swift, nor the battle won by the strong. But time and chance happeneth to them all.